No, it's, it's Curtis. Curtis, okay. Um, tell, me, tell me what your plan is if and when police do come today. Um, if police do come, um, I highly I highly doubt they'll come during the day. It'll probably be at night when there's no one here. Um, I plan on staying in a tent and occupying a tent, and I will not comply with the police asking me to leave. They will have to physically drag me out. Okay, now, um, how many other people are in your shoes right now? Um, I'm not entirely sure. It depends on the day and what people are doing, but um, I believe uh, at least last night we had about 15 to 20 people who were risk, who were willing to risk arrest. What goes through your mind today when you when you look around and you see the camp the way it is now compared to what it has been in the past few weeks and even just yesterday? Um, I, the the fact that we got the eviction notice um, it was in, inevitable. Um, but uh, the fact that we've built ourselves a little fort um, to protect ourselves from, from the eviction is, is pretty, I, I think it's a pretty powerful message to send out that you know, we're not leaving, that we're staying here and we're, plan we're planning, we're not, we're not afraid to stand up for what's right. Now, you guys have always talked about how you're a non-violent movement, how it's a peaceful, peaceful type of movement. Do you think it could escalate to violence? Um, we will refrain from violence. Whether or not the police will use violent tactics, that's up to them, but we will not use violence back. Okay. Thanks very much. No problem.